الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بع A believer helps another believer. We should assist one another, cooperate with one another on khair, on goodness, and intercede on one another's behalf as long as it is in righteousness and goodness. Meaning if your Muslim brother or sister needs assistance and you have uh, a means for assisting them and interceding in their behalf in a good way, in a lawful way, then you should do so. And Allah the Almighty says, مَنْ يَشْفَعَ شَفَاعَةُ حَسَنَةً يَكُونْ لَهُ نَسِيبٌ مِنْهَا Allah the Almighty says, And whoever intercedes on the behalf of the one seeking intercession, he seek, he intercedes on behalf of them in, in righteousness, then he will get some of that reward, meaning he will get reward as well. The Mufassirin explaining this ayat, like Ibn Kathir, rahimahullah ta'ala, qala Ibn Kathir, من ساعي في أمر فترتب عليه الخير كان له نصيب من من ذلك. Ibn Kathir said that whoever strives in an affair which is a, a, a good affair, in something righteous, then he will share in that reward. So if someone assists you in doing something good and cooperating with you, or you cooperate with them in something in righteousness, ta'awun ala bitter wa taqwa. And through this cooperation, there is good that is achieved through it. Then you will receive reward for assisting them in that righteousness. So this encourages us to cooperate and it encourages us to um, to intercede on one another's behalf in khair. For example, if you have maybe there's a dispute between a Muslim and another Muslim or a Muslim and, and someone else and, and a non-Muslim and you assist them in good in trying to in trying to fix the problem that they have that they're facing or the dispute you try to arbitrate in that dispute and you intercede on behalf of one of them in a righteous way in goodness then you'll receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that you will share in the reward for the one who also was received good and received reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for doing righteousness قال المجاهد رحمه الله تعالى نزلت هذه الآية في شفاعات الناس بعضهم لبعض فالشافع لأخي إذا استجيبت شفاعته كان له أجران أجر عن الخير الذي ساقه إلى الأخيه وأجر الآخر هو مثل أجر المشفوع إليه في فعله من الخير مجاهد رحمه الله تعالى one of the early Mufassireen, one of the Tabi'een, he said that this verse, the verse we mentioned before, related to interceding on behalf of one another in righteousness, he said that if the person answers the call for interceding on behalf of their brother in righteousness then of course they will receive two rewards they'll receive the reward of the good that was the final end of that 
that uh, th that he was interceding for, and he will see receive another reward similar to the one who was interceded for. So that there's two reward if they are doing it in righteousness, and that there is a, a reward from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in the end result for, for whatever they were uh, striving to achieve and cooperate on. So this shows us that you can only get khair from khair. You can only get goodness from goodness. And by striving to assist one another, you almost never lose as long as you are cooperating in righteousness and not cooperating on sinfulness and enmity and hatred. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who cooperate in righteousness and anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and anything that I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa